last night uh, I heard that uh, there is a seminary about uh, maybe five kilometers away from my home. It's outskirts uh, of Kiev, very close on the border. Basically, it's part of Kiev, considered. And that seminary has been destroyed. Three missiles hit the seminary and destroyed it. And uh, I hear already that some pastors and chaplains, they have been shot. of people at the train station trying to get on the train and uh, several times I saw when uh, we came to a train station and waiting for our train but then suddenly we see on the uh, next tracks uh, there is some kind of train already standing there and just out of curiosity we went there to ask where does this train go and they say it goes to western safer place uh, uh, further west in Ukraine and I looked and that train was half empty and we were able we were able to you know put our people and send them and I thought wow thank you God for providing this extra train like not scheduled nobody knew about it I felt God laid it on my heart to stay as long as I could and as long as I could be helpful and useful here uh, Maybe also partly because I believe that Jesus, he didn't have to come into our world, you know, but uh, into our broken world, you know, to be with us. And I thought if I also can just be with people in my city and to share with them this experience, to be with, uh, together, you know, in fear, in helping one another, and in just being in fellowship, to pray together, to support one another. I had opportunities and I could leave, you know, I could have left uh, even abroad to, to some safer place. But for some reason, God laid it on my heart at, at this hour to, to stay and to be and, yeah, and and people, especially at this time, yeah, many people are open to, uh, yeah, to, to faith. And yeah, when everything is good and, you know, there are no trouble, people are not as open sometimes to, uh, to you know, to God. But in, at this time, there are no atheists uh, yeah, in, in Ukraine. Uh, everyone is open to pray together, to 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 talk about you know about the importance to put our hope in God. despite the circumstances. And also we pray for Russian uh, soldiers and especially for Russian president to be removed from the position that he is in so that he would not be able to cause more harm than he has already done. Yes. And we pray that his evil intentions will be thwarted that his intentions and of the Russian soldiers that they would fail, they stretch, I would send them the spirit of confusion and fear, put fear in the heart into their hearts that they would give up, that they would be scared, and that they would leave our land and go to where they came from. That they, we pray for them to have no success here.